while I was doing uh, a live uh, last season here, uh, BJ said that he'd come in possession of a terrific script called The Outgoing Tide, and would I be interested in reading it? And I read it, and as soon as I read it, I loved it. And I said, yeah, I'd definitely be interested. You know, there aren't that many parts anymore for a 70-year-old. And this was just such a great, wonderful role. So uh, I said, yeah, I'd definitely be interested in doing it. And then we did a reading of it uh, with uh, about 200 people in the audience, and they went bananas for it. And, and we knew that uh, we got something special. It's wonderfully funny, bitterly funny in places. Uh, it has all of Bruce's trademark sarcasm and irony and outrageous sense of humor. And uh, it also is based on the family relationships, which he's really so very good at. I think what I really loved was the sense of history. I mean, I used to joke that John Mahoney and I have been married longer on stage than I ever was in real life. Um, I, we played husband and wife several times, but this is also two people um, that have lived a very long life together, the couple, uh, Peg and Gunner, and their son, uh, Jack, in this play. And they have a great history. I think, too, John and I, having worked together and come from a similar background uh, in Steppenwolf, have a already sort of have a shorthand and a simpatico feeling and we've both been off doing different things. John certainly has had an incredible career in television and film and um, uh, stage as well and I've gotten to, you know, I'm a little bit more of a late bloomer but we've been able to come back always to our roots in the theater and I think we each bring our own experience and then we have the experience of working together. There are some pretty major issues that I think are going to be conflicting for individual people. I, I you know, I, I myself am a little conflicted about some of the points of view that my character has. And, um, and I think that that will be true of, of audience members. There will be an ongoing dialogue within each audience member about how do I feel about this? Who am I siding with? Oh, I thought I was siding with Peg, but all of a sudden, uh, no, I think maybe Gunner's right. And, um, and I think that that's going to be that's uh, that creates a, a very active place to experience a play from, and I think that will be very exciting for audiences to to see. I think it's it's about forgiveness and love and support, and uh, hopefully, if we do it right, because of Bruce's tonality, the way he writes all of his work has equal measures of humor and pathos, and to understand that those exist even in real life situations that are uh, both dire and dramatic. That's how I deal with difficult subjects in real life, is with humor. Um, I can't think of anything worse than seeing a play that has maybe a sad theme to it or something and done in a sad way. I think it's much more, when I go to the theater, I like to be jerked around. Make me laugh, make me cry, get me angry, put me in suspense, you know. My job as a playwright is to manipulate you. I'm this. I'm Geppetto, you know, I'm pulling the strings. I want to make you gasp, I want to make you laugh, I want to do all those things. Because that's the emotional response theater should do. And I think if you're writing something, say, that's sad, it's even sadder if the people were laughing earlier. I think audiences will love this play. First of all, I think they'll love the relationship between the husband, wife, and son. I think that uh, it, they'll be fascinated and intrigued and maybe a little controversial for them about uh, certain aspects of this um, but it's it has so much humor which sounds strange when you think about a person with dementia and but in the flashbacks that are shown of happier times and earlier times uh, there's just so much love and humor in there I, I think it's got something for everybody I think if, if audiences are anything like I was when I first read it they're gonna love it, absolutely love it.